Hey everybody, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and I am one of the senior editors at MyJo in Toronto, and I am back again with another brand new Digital Juice Partner product. This time we're heading over to Digital Film Tools for a fantastic plugin for Photoshop that I guarantee is going to make your life so much easier. And the plugin that I'm talking about is Easy Mask 2.0. Now, one of the jobs that is always a big pain, and trust me, I know, and believe it or not, I actually saw an editor doing this exact job where I work last week, and that is Mask. Masking. Whether you're in After Effects or in this case, whether you're in Photoshop, masking can be a real pain. Because what ends up happening is you end up going in and erasing and painting and trying to get around all the edges. And even when you're done, the mask just never really quite looks the way that you want. And you ended up spending hours doing it. Well, believe it or not, the shot that you're looking at in front of you looks very real and looks like it was shot like this. But I'm just going to hit escape here to show you that what this shot actually is, is it's a shot made up of our car, as you can see on a racetrack, and our driveway. And I composited this together in Photoshop in about three minutes. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to do using Digital Film Tools Easy Mask, the brand new Digital Juice Partner product. Now, before I get in and show you that, I do just want to remind you quickly that Digital Juice and I do like your feedback. So, why don't you head on over to any of the tutorials that you've watched lately, head on over, log in, and post a comment. You're going to be entered to win not only Digital Juice's daily prize, but they also have a weekly giveaway that changes from time to time. So guess what? Get on over, post a comment, you're automatically entered to win. It takes seconds, but guess what? It could pay you off big time. Okay, so let me just show you how this works and how simple it is and why you're going to want to pick up this plugin. So let's command tab into Photoshop. So the first thing that we need is two elements, a foreground and a background. So what I'm going to do is just come down here and I'm going to say open and I'm going to open our car layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open our driveway and I'm going to take our driveway. I'm going to press command and A on the Mac, control and A on Windows. And by the way, this product is for both Mac and Windows for all of you Photoshop users. And I'm going to come over here to my car and I'm just going to paste this in. Now, one thing that I do want to make sure of here is that my driveway is obviously my background. Now, this is the point where most editors really cringe because what they end up doing is they end up coming over to their eraser tool and they come in and we're just going to increase the size of this here because what they do is they try to trace around the car. Well, let's make sure we got our car layer selected. They try to trace around the car and get it to work and it just it becomes a big pain because you find yourself constantly undoing and redoing things. And like I said, this one job could end up taking you easily an hour to do. Well, let me show you how to do this in minutes with Digital Film Tools Easy Mask 2.0. So I'm just going to undo what I just did. And with my layer selected, I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to add a new layer mask. So you can see that Photoshop has added the layer mask right there. I'm just going to make sure that my car layer is selected. And I'm going to come up to Filter. And I'm going to come down to Digital Film Tools. And I'm going to select Easy Mask 2.0. Photoshop is going to load the custom Easy Mask 2.0 window. And what we're first greeted with is we're greeted with a screen where we're going to want to define the foreground and the background. And as you can see, as I move the mouse around, I have a green circle. Well, that green circle represents the foreground. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to paint just like this, the foreground, and then we're going to want to paint the background. Now you can see I just painted a little line there and that's perfectly fine just to leave it there because what I want to do first is I just want to increase the size of my brush by pressing the up arrow on the keyboard. And we're just going to come around and we're just going to define very loosely the edges of the car. And you can be as loose or as tight as you want on this. Come all the way over here like such, down the side of the car, over here. Make sure we get some of the shadow in there too. And I am just going to come all the way over and the cool thing is is that if you were to hold the shift key down, I could put a click down here, hold the shift key, and draw straight lines to do the same thing as well. Now remember, I just really needed to define the outside edges of the car, so for me to put this in here really doesn't impact anything. Okay, so let's define the background now. So we're going to come up here, and the shortcut to bring up our background tool is the B key, and what we're going to do is you'll see that right away we now have a different color. We now have the red color, and I'm just going to increase the brush size a little bit here. I'm going to come over here, just draw around the car very quickly just like such like that and we'll just send off our red lines into the distance just to make sure that we have the background defined 
And what we're going to do now is we're simply just going to press enter on the keyboard. And what's going to happen is Easy Mask is going to quickly differentiate the foreground from the background. And it's done a pretty good job. And we can see what a great job it's done simply by using the left and right arrow keys to cycle through our different views. You can see there's our car right there composited onto our background. We still got a little work that needs to be done, but it's not too bad right now. And I'm going to come through again and you can see there is the original car and we can come back and forward just like that. So let's come back to the mask and let's refine this mask a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the refine tool right here. And by selecting the refine tool, basically what we can do now is we have our background selected. So let's just adjust the size of our brush a little bit here. And I'm going to zoom in slightly just like that. And we're just going to come in and we're just going to refine the background a little bit just like this. And you can see that it does a really good job of refining that with very little work. This is all looking good. We're going to refine the foreground in just a second here. And not too bad, just like that. Not too bad. And let's switch over and refine our foreground. So we're just going to come up here like such. Make sure that our inside mask is solid. And for all you After Effects users, you'll be familiar with mats and how they work. I'm not going to get too specific here, but the great thing with this tool is you can be as loose or as tight as you want with creating these mats. And we're just going to make sure that our edges are very tight here, just like such. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now, there is one last thing that I did want to point out. I'm just going to refine this a little bit better. I think that's good, just like that. OK, so let's zoom back. We'll just go back to one to one. And what I want to do now is I'm just going to cycle through because as you can see, we got a little bit of an issue going on over here, but I'm not going to adjust that now. I'm going to wait till we get back into Photoshop to show you how simple it is to make adjustments after we get back into Photoshop. So let's say that we're happy with this because to be perfectly honest, this looks really good the way that it is. So what I'm going to do is simply come up and I'm going to say process and instantaneously, boom, there we go. Now, the question is really what has happened? Well, what has happened is, is that if I come over here, you'll see that I now have a mask element here connected to this layer. And if I was to turn the mask off, you can see what Photoshop has done in case I want to get in and blur this mask a little bit. It's added some of the red value. And you can see specifically where we're having a bit of a problem with the red is right down here. But this is completely independent of the mask. So let's fix that and let's use the mask from Easy Mask to help us do that. So to turn the mask on and off is very simple. I'm just holding the shift key on the keyboard and clicking on the mask. So basically, like I said, all Easy Mask has done is gone in and created a fantastic mask for us. And if we want to take a look at it, we can see it right there. Now, let's say I needed to blur this mask a little bit just because I wanted to have the edges not as sharp. All I basically have to do is to select my mask just like that. I can now come up to filter, I can come down to blur, and we'll just use Gaussian blur just as an example, and I can get in here, and I'm just going to take it to the extreme. We never do it this much, obviously, but you can see that I can blur just the mask. So I'm just going to blur this as one, very, very slight, just like that. And now let's get in and fix this problem right here. So let's select the car, and we're just going to zoom in just like this, because you can see that what Photoshop has done, and I'm going to move this out of the way, let's turn our mask off here for one second is that it has added this red in here that we don't want. We want it to be this gray color. The mask is what's helping to define our shadow. So all I now have to do is simply call up my clone tool. We're going to come over here and just bring our brush down a little bit, just like this. And I can just now go like such. And we can refine this shadow perfectly because remember, the mask is going to be in here cutting this shadow out giving us the exact look that we want. And if I turn it back off, you can see that our shadow is almost perfect. Just a little bit more around the edges here, just like such. And I believe we are done. And you can see how quickly and easily it was to create a fantastic looking mask in Photoshop using digital film tools, Easy Mask 2.0, a brand new digital juice partner product. Let me tell you, anybody that uses Photoshop, for me, this is now almost a no brainer plugin. I'm going to be using this plugin all the time. So if you're interested in digital film tools, Easy Mask 2.0, a brand new digital juice partner product, you can simply head on over to the digital juice website and check it out under products, under partner products. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.